another virtual Vacation Bible School. Today we're going on a journey, a journey back in time to the Holy Land, to the days when Jesus walked the earth. Close your eyes for just a minute. Can you do that? Imagine with me the sights and smells of a bustling marketplace. You can almost hear it. Someone selling chickens. Another person is weaving baskets to sell. Someone is sp selling expensive spices and beautiful fabrics. And there's bread baking in a brick oven. Can you smell it? Can you hear it? It's such an amazing place here in the Holy Land. Okay, open your eyes because we have so many places to go. We have so many adventures to go on today. And the best way to start is always with a prayer. Can you pray with me? Bow your heads. Dear God, thank you for the fun and the joy that comes from Vacation Bible School. Help us imagine today what life was like in the Holy Land, the days when Jesus and his followers walked the earth, teaching and preaching, healing and loving all those that they saw. Help us to love others the way that Jesus did. Amen. Hi, everyone. We have an important Bible memory verse to learn this week. It's so important that you can find it several places in the Bible, in the Old Testament and in the New Testament. I'm going to say it for you now and teach you some motions. This is the motion for Lord, and this is the motion for soul or spirit. Can you do that? Let's try it together. You should love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind. And love your neighbor as yourself. Luke 10, 27. Can you say that with me? Here we go. You should love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, with all your mind. And love your neighbor as yourself. Luke 10, 27. That's great. That verse is so important because it tells us how we should live every day. It sounds pretty easy. Love God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, with all your mind. And love your neighbor as yourself. But sometimes it's hard to do. So we should try every day to do those two things. Love God with everything we have and love our neighbors just like we want to be loved. Let's try it one more time. You ready? Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, with all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. Luke 10, 27. That's something we should live by every single day. Now, for one of our favorite parts of virtual VBS, let's welcome Mr. Robert up to teach us some of our favorite Holy Land songs. Here we go. Welcome back, everyone. Today's first song is called God With Us. One of the names that sometimes Jesus is known by is Emmanuel. Have you ever heard that? Sometimes we sing about that at Christmas. But did you know that Emmanuel means God with us? So this song is all about how Jesus was a baby. He was a boy, just like us growing up. And he loved to do the same things that we do. So I'm going to teach you parts of the song, and then we'll sing it together. It goes like this. He was a boy who walked this earth. He breathed the air and touched the dirt. He loved to talk and he loved to laugh, just like we do now. He had a home, a family. He went to church where he would read the Word of God, the Father God, just like we do now. You ready to sing that together? All right, everybody, let's stand up and we'll sing that together. He was a boy who walked this earth. He breathed the air and 
felt the dirt He loved to talk and he laughed a lot Just like we do now He had a home, a family He went to church where he would read The word of God, his father God Just like way back in that time, and Jesus showed mercy and compassion, and he healed them of their disease. The second takes place when Jesus and his disciples were on a boat in the sea, and a storm came up, and the disciples were very afraid, and Jesus spoke and calmed the sea. He had power even over the waves and the wind. He's powerful. I'm going to teach you the first part of this, and then we'll sing it all together, all right? It goes like this. He is powerful, he healed the leper and heals our disease. He is powerful, he calmed the storm and he moves with power and ease. That's simple enough. Let's try that one more time and then we'll sing the whole song together. He is powerful, he healed the leper and heals our disease. He is powerful. He calmed the storm and he moves with power and ease. Great. Let's sing that together.
We'll see you next week. During Jesus' ministry, he walked many, many miles, teaching and preaching everywhere he went. Jesus' disciples went with him. They followed him everywhere he went. Jesus walked to Galilee, to Nazareth, to Jerusalem, to Bethlehem, even to Jericho. Wherever Jesus went, crowds of people wanted to be near him. They wanted to hear him. They wanted to touch him. They wanted to see him. Jesus traveled around teaching and preaching to all those who would listen. He taught people how to love God and how to love their neighbor. One day, a group of religious leaders tried to trick Jesus by asking him about this question. So he told this story, and this is how it went. Listen. You asked me how to inherit eternal life. Well, you're the lawyer. How do you read it? Well, that's exactly correct. To love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength and your mind, and to love your neighbor as yourself, that's absolutely correct. But who is your neighbor? One day there was a man traveling on the road from Jerusalem to Jericho, and he was beset by robbers who robbed him, who beat him, who left him naked and nearly dead. And by chance on that same road was a priest traveling. Seeing the man, he moved to the other side of the road to pass by. And likewise, the Levite, also seeing the man, passed on the other side. Now, on a journey was a Samaritan. And seeing the man, he had compassion for him. He cared for him. He loved him. He got down from the animal that he was on. He bound his wounds. He treated him with olive oil and wine. He put him on his animal and took him to the inn. And he nursed him and took care of him through the night. And in the morning, he took two denarii to the innkeeper. And he told him, take care of this man. And if his cost should be more, then I will pay it as I come back. Now, who do you think this man's neighbor was? The man who had mercy on him? If so, go and do likewise. That truly was his neighbor. My Father, we know you're with us in all things, that your wings and pinions cover us in all of our activities. Help us to open our eyes so that we can see and our ears that we can hear, so that we can hear our neighbor, know our brothers and sisters, and know that all of the, the people are your children. At a time like this where so many are hurting, let us reach out and be their friend, knowing that we're brothers and sisters. We ask for your guidance in this. We love you. We are thankful for all of our blessings. For this, we ask in your name. Amen. I'm so glad that you joined us this week. Didn't we have fun in the Holy Land? It was quite an adventure, quite a journey back in time. I hope you'll join us again next week. Who knows where we'll go? But don't forget, come by the church this week to pick up your basket. Inside, oh, there's lots of fun things in here for you to do. Some crafts and some other goodies and prizes. So come by the church and pick it up. And we'll see you next week for another great Vacation Bible School adventure. Bye-bye. Yeah.